Hey what is up guys, welcome back to Predator Exotics. Now today we're going to be showing you guys how to use excavator clay. Now of course we have used excavator clay in the past but we have not yet used this kit. So it's a bit of a new experience for us as well to see what this kit comes with. Yeah so we're looking forward to seeing all the extra bits you get in this kit. As Ollie mentioned we have used it in the past. Our large stenodactylus enclosure which is a 45 cube actually uses the excavator clay. We'll put up some pictures of the process now. We did the excavator clay with a ramp with cork bark. We added some sand later with some branches and some slate, stuff like that. Made it look, made it look really naturalistic. But now we're going to do it on a smaller scale with this 30 centimetre cube. Now, with the one that we have done before, I think it turned out really well, considering it was one of our first times using excavator clay. Uh, so today, we're going to just get into it and see how it goes. So. Alright, so in this ZooMed kit, it seems to have uh, a tube to shape some of your excavator so, yeah, clay. You can put that tube in. I think it comes with a string and a pulley. So you can basically tie this string. Unbox it. Comes with a nice shovel that also has um, measurements on it so you can see how deep you're, you know, you're digging out your excavator clay. So basically with these, we're not going to be using these today because it's a smaller tank, but you can blow up these balloons and then tie the string with this around it. Um, and then you pop it through the tube. So once you pop the balloon, you can pull, pull it out and then pull out your tube and you've got a nice little tunnel pre-made for all your geckos. Now, of course, in the first one we did, um, it didn't have any of the kits. We just kind of used a spoon and kind of dug out the tunnels ourselves uh, and the little caves that they were in. Um, but yeah. actually, it wasn't as bad as we thought. Yeah, you get a couple of different sizes of balloons as well. So depending on the size of the animal you, you want to use with it, you've got two of these little balloons and then two larger balloons. But when you do use this, if you have something like a Euromastix that's going to dig anyway, you can put them in the enclosure and they will start digging their own tunnels anyway. So you just got to start it off and they'll make their own way around. And then, of course, we have our clay. <laughs> so yeah, what's good about this as well is... I'm not going to use that box. Oh, right. uh, whereas before, we, we just bought the £20 bag, um, so we had to put it in a bucket. So what's good about this one, you can leave the bag in the box and then mix it all in. It's like its own little bucket, so you don't have to worry about having any extra supplies. So recommended for this box is three cups of water. But with anything, never add all the amount straight at once because once you put it in, you can't take it out. So we're going to add it a little bit of time mixing it with our Excavator Clay by ZooMed shovel. Right, you ready? Now, of course, you want to be doing this in a nicely ventilated room, um, as, of course, this dust is going to be getting everywhere as you start to mix this excavated clay. And you can use your hands. You don't have to worry about gloves, because it's clay-based. It simply rinses off in the tap. You want to get the right consistency because if it's like this you're not going to be able to mold it around the items in your enclosure so you do want it just enough so that you can mold it and the wetter it is the longer it's going to take to dry so you do have to take that into account so once you're done it's going to go this dark color and if you grab a handful it's going to be stay together but it will break up so that's why you gotta let it dry but yeah it's coming to a nice con we've used the exact amount and i think we're just about ready to start sculpting yeah so if we all right so now that our clay is up to the point where we can start molding we're going to start putting in our objects that we're going to be molding it around so adding to this tank we have a nice piece of wood 
for them to climb on. Uh, I think we have an idea of where we want to put it and how we're going to mould it into the clay. So yeah, before you um, start just putting stuff in, you've got to have an idea of what you're going to do, sort of plan around where you want stuff in the tank. Um, so we've got some more bits as well. So we've got some pieces of slate that we're going to be putting in it. Now, of course, we're not going to put all of it in. Uh, we're going to see which ones look nice. I think we have a rough idea of where we're yeah, going to put we'll them. We'll probably put some ledges in and then keep some others as hides that are just going to be loose in the tank. Now, with extravert clay, it's going to be a lot of trial and error. Um, on where you and how you want stuff and of course I think we did have a couple collapses in our first one uh, just the small tunnels nothing major we have seen some stuff online where sometimes people's whole things have collapsed but I think as long as you're careful and, and you know you know uh, and you pack it tightly it should be alright so yeah pack it tightly and then you can dig out afterwards do you want to go for it? Yeah. So, And then if you start moulding around that base. So we've packed in this one corner, like that, so it's nice and secure. We're just going to keep building. Gonna try adding some slate. We're gonna try and do like a step. So we've got to this stage now. Um, the reason we didn't film putting this one is, is someone was holding this, someone was holding this, someone's holding this. We're using all available hands. Um, but if you come in now, you can see we've secured this one in, secured that one in secured these two points um, we're probably going to dig out a little bit here to make sort of a little cave um, but these bits are looking nice they can climb up here um, gives them access to sort of the lighting area and the basking area so we've got our basic setup here so we've got the ledges going on um, we've got our branches now we're going to try you can there's a few different methods for this um, the first one, you can actually use something like a can of soda or something, put that in a mould around it, and then take it out afterwards. We showed you the balloon and the, the stick method, but another method is just to use a spoon. So, you just sort of want to... So you can see where we've, where we've packed it in nice and tight, and actually carve it out. So what we've done here, we've actually made almost like a bridge like we did in our original one. So they've got a ramp that comes up the back and we've put a bit of slate between these two beams. And so it actually acts as a bridge over to this bit of slate here, which is a nice little ledge for them. And then there's the ledge underneath, which is quite cool. It's sort of like a small cave underneath. But it's all built in, it's all nice and secure, so even though whatever we put in here isn't going to weigh much at all anyway, um, they're going to be nice and secure, nothing's going to fall on them. It's a nice little setup we got. So guys, this is the final result of our expert clay. Now this took us about an hour to set up. Um, of course, it did require two people, so I do recommend that if you are doing one of these, do use a second person. Yeah, very happy with it. Um, we learnt a couple of things from obviously previously doing it, which helps. Um, obviously pack it as tight as you can, makes it easier to fit stuff in. And then when you're packing it, try and make it so there's no gaps that they can hide in, that the animal, whatever animal you put in, won't be able to get in somewhere and you won't be able to get it back out. So now we're just going to give you a couple close-up shots of what our actual tank looks like. I know that some of the reflection and glare uh, got in there just due to the sun and all that. So we're now going to leave this for at least 48 hours to let it dry and solidify. The other one I think took 
it took, it took almost a week, I think, for all of it to dry. You see it change in colour from a lighter, goes from that darker colour when it's wet to a lighter colour, um, and then it is eventually dry. So stay tuned to our channel to find out what animal we do eventually put in this, and we will kit it out with all the extra features. So stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy our excavator clay setup, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next Friday. Thanks, guys. Dig anyway. You can put them, put, put, put them in.